So this is the time of the year when everyone slows down a bit, relaxes a bit. But if you have the hunger and you have the desire to become a good developer, this might be just the time you needed to accelerate in front of a lot of people who are taking a step back. In this video, I want to give you a small structured framework, what you can do before this year ends to get on track to enter the year 2022 in a great fashion as a developer. Let's go. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. There is about a month left in this year to end. And in order to utilize this properly, what I would tell you is just take two things away from you. The first thing is consistency and the second thing is depth. And this is not me just giving you theoretical knowledge. I'll actually go into deep both of these points and discuss how you can implement them. For consistency, I would highly recommend you to take part in CodeDams 50 days of JS for which we also made a nice promo video as you can see now. So what this 50 days of JS event is, you might have learned a lot from the video which was just shown, but this essentially means that we will publish one JavaScript problem per day, which would be real world and would involve a lot of real world scenarios. And you have to solve that. Why do you have to solve that? It's not about becoming a JavaScript master or anything. It's about maintaining a streak of 50 days of JS. And of course there are not 50 days left now. When we started this challenge, then there were 50 days but you can catch up with the number of days which have gone so far and come to the latest challenge. Now, because we release only one challenge per day, this would help you maintain your streak. So I would say like, make sure this is one of your tasks where you are completing one challenge at least per day. In fact, you, you can even start your days, the number of days which are left with this 50 days of JS challenge. This particular thing would actually get you started, get your one part of the day started with programming, right? It would probably take you 10 to 20 minutes to complete a challenge, not more than that. But once you are into that flow, once you are into that streak mode, I would recommend you to go ahead and start with some topic where you want to go into depth of it. Now this depends on what kind of place you are in your learning journey, but most of the audience of this channel are actually doing web development and that also with React. So HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, node i would say if you're somebody who's still struggling with these four five two three four five topics then pick up one course from code Damp. and one benefit i forgot to tell you about 50 days of js is every single day we are giving away one pro account so you can win that and become a pro member at code Damp. but once you have completed the challenge once you have done something pick up one topic which either you want to learn or you want to revise from last day because you might have just forgot about it and start working towards either learning plus building or just building. Now the important part here is that I have not written just learning because I don't want you to just watch video tutorials. And this is where CodeDamp's interactive courses would also come in handy. Again, these courses are free. The ones in the black box, they are completely free. You can just sign up for a free account on CodeDAM and start working with them. And these courses would include labs plus videos, which is like learning part and then building part. And if you go to codedam.com slash projects, you will see the projects for HTML, CSS, JS and React. So that is pretty much your building part. So what I want you to do is every single day, start your day with the consistent behavior which is like one way to do that is to complete a 50 day of JS challenge on CodeDamp, tweet your entry on Twitter and get a prize, get a pro account for free. Even if you don't win the pro account, if you are beginner in the HTML, CSS, JS and you cannot afford pro membership, start with these free courses. They are highly interactive, highly engaging, and you're going to learn a lot more. You're going to build a lot more projects. And yeah, I mean, building consistently is super important when you're trying to learn. So every single day till the year ends, if you do only these two particular things every single day, and this would probably take you for this part, you can reserve maybe like 50 to 70 minutes a day. So in general, what I'm asking you is to contribute 
close to 90 minutes which is like one and a half hour per day minimum to your consistency plus depth based learning before the year ends and trust me you can trust me on this one when the year ends whether that's 20 25 30 days from now you will feel a difference you will see a difference between where you were 20 days ago and where you are at the moment and of course i mean if you can afford a code damn pro membership you can also continue your journey to the various back end and full stack aspects of interactive learning as well but that's fine you can also win a pro membership there are a lot of giveaways and discounts running all the time so you can make use of that but i do want you to follow these two things and even if you don't want to use codam of course i'm biased because obviously this is on codam's youtube channel even if you want to stay consistent and do in-depth topics on your own local system on your own personal computers use youtube etc that's completely fine but the important thing is having these two things with you so yep this is my two-step framework to become a good developer before the year ends become a good developer as in a developer who's consistent and who builds and learns this is like super important stuff before the year ends because that's all the momentum you need to go hard in 2022 and I wish you all the best. I wish you a early happy new year and a new year when which you get your job or internship or build that startup or SaaS product, whatever you want to do with your dev knowledge. So that is all for this one. I'm going to see you in the next video very soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching